hi everyone welcome back to my channel today in this video i am sharing about multiple window feature in microsoft teams and how to enable this feature recently microsoft teams have rolled out this feature you can enable this feature in your windows or mac os if we start meeting or make a call or have a chat we used to be within same screen or same window let's check for chat to if you click here and start chat you used to be within same window you can't get multiple window Now let's end this call first. In top right corner of your Teams app, you can see your profile icon. Just click your picture or profile icon, then move to check for updates. Click check for updates. You will check and install any updates while you continue to work. It will install new update after that you can move to settings yes i have already updated this i need not to wait till it get updated or till i get new updates message in setting you can get turn on new meeting experience option just click it like this after checking this on you will be able to get new feature before that you need to restart your teams app just close this and reopen Okay, now let's check with new meeting here yeah, now by clicking meet I got a different window you can see here multiple window is enabled previously we are not getting this feature now this is available I can join by clicking here Let me join from other user account to let's log in from another user from here let's open and join the meeting join this is user account previously this meeting bar was also placed within meeting window now it's moved to top of meeting window Now let's move to user account and see that previously it was placed in this section and now it's moved to top. Within this meeting bar you can get show participants option. You can just click here and manage permissions, download attendance report and close this from here. So conversation you can start chat here like this and close next we have raise your hand you can use this feature too and more action within more action you can get new option that is focus next we have camera option we can enable and disable it from here next audio 
and shear tray. You can use shortcut key for these tools too. And next you have leave. If you click leave, you will leave the meeting. And if you click drop down and end meeting, and to end the meeting, you need to be organizer. If you are organizer, you can just click this drop down and end meeting. Therefore, meeting will end for every attendees. Now, let's check share option. You can click this share tray and if you are sharing audio, you need to enable system audio in your Windows computer in Mac OS. You need not to do this and here you can get share screen option next window and in window option you can select a specific window you want to share and in powerpoint you can select powerpoint that you want to share next you have browse now let's share on powerpoint for demo uh, i'll open one from here and welcome to If you want to share this slide, you can just click and select this PowerPoint window by this way. And one thing you need to know while sharing the screen is you can manage this setting so. Uh, slides will look a bit professional here it's in edit mode now let's learn these two let's check first from students view in students view it looks like this it doesn't look so good now let's change it for that you can move to slideshow You can move to slideshow setting and in slideshow you can move to setup and inside setup you can select browse by an individual window option and ok. Now let's begin the slide and you can also minimize in this way ok now you are sharing your powerpoint slide you can maximize or minimize by this way and if you want to enlarge you can just enlarge from here by this way you can pull down to a bit bigger now now let's move to student view let's log in let's get back to students view here you can see the way of presenting is good here you can see better presentation way and in students okay this is in students view let's keep it here and you are using this slide as to present and let's okay now you have two window this is in attendees view and this is your own view sharing your window now you can click here 
by this way slide and this way of presenting a powerpoint slide would be best option during online classes now let's check chat you can use this feature too now you can have pop up chat option also previously it was not available now you are getting multiple window option and get back and check meeting here like this and next we have is chat call okay now let's check another thing that is let's create or join another meeting you can have multiple window now so you can join different meeting at a time you can just switch the window in which you want to view just click okay now let's start a new meeting and join join now new meeting is started waiting for others to join and if you get back to window list you can see meeting going on like this you can just place this window separately and switch between these just resume you will get back to previous meeting and if you want to switch to new one you can click here by this way you can get multiple window in microsoft teams here you have three window and you can also start chats like this here you can see one chat chat window another meeting window and another also meeting window this feature can be used to create breakout rooms too you can divide your students in different groups creating channels and have a meeting in different channels and you can switch between group of students by this way okay now let's leave this in this meeting and i will end this meeting also Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to hit subscribe button if you haven't done it and click the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you.